Hey, it's Greg over at Cranky's, and today I've got a uh, another amp to demonstrate for you. This one is a brand new kit clone that somebody put together, and it had a few problems with it. It had a bone audio transformer, output transformer, shorted output tubes. Uh, may have caused that and the hot bias may have caused that the uh, I, I added a master volume mod to this which is sitting in the number two input and uh, that's using the new 250k audio taper dual gang pots that are available it's a perfect match for the circuit that's on this amp and uh, I found a uh, foreigner pick in this amp, so I went with a high presence tube for V1. It already had a clean compressed tube in V2, and uh, the tubes that I find are the most reliable for the 6V6s right now are the tongue saws. So I've got crankies burned in, matched, tested, 6V6s in there, and it needed to be biased as I said that's a fixed resistor cathode bias circuit but you know when you're when you're uh, you know a couple of things when you're when you're retubing you always have to check bias and just because it's a self biasing circuit doesn't mean that the engineering was done right the first time so you know, I've got lots of 5 watt resistors to be able to go on either side of what the stock value are in these amps. And uh, I guess that's another video, but the lesson here is uh, this guy's got a, an expensive repair with needing new tubes and needing a new audio transformer in a brand new amp. And the fault really lays in the tubes which had heater to cathode shorts and were biased too hot so don't assume that your new tubes are any good that's that's a huge mistake you got to find a guy like me that's got a tube tester and all your amps without you got to test your output tubes every six months um, once they have a couple thousand hours of playing time on them, you gotta test them every six months. That's, you just have, simply have to do that because they all, all output tubes eventually develop those heater to cathode shorts. And a lot of the tubes uh, are coming that way now. So, uh, let's see, we got the green guitar again, playing on the bridge humbucker, uh, dunky custom custom. Here's the master volume, it's taking up the hole that used to be uh, the attenuated input for the bright channel, and I'm plugged into the hot input for the normal channel. And I'm, I'm yelling because there's a cyclone fan going that's really loud. It's keeping it cool down here, it's, it's a hot day. So that's kind of let's go to ten on that. So you can see why I picked that tube. I'm going to push this all the way. Beautiful distorting amp. You can also jump where the inputs on these come off the um, attenuated input and plug them into and go over to the high input other channel, and then you've got additional gain and additional brightness as well. So.
Very nice, right? Um, so, what does this thing sound like? Oh, all the way up, no mask. No doubt that's going to compress on the recording device. Really beautiful amp. Um, you know, that's that's all I got to say about this. We'll go back to the, the normal channel here. Bridge pickup, so you, you want some. Uh, so there we are, kind of my fake ass telly set up on that. So it, we'll do the blues thing. So, hope you enjoyed it and learned something from it. Please like it, share it, and subscribe. If you want to reach me, here's the phone number. I'm here Monday through Friday, 12 to 8. Thank you.